Thanksgiving weekend is a time when Americans are supposed to count their blessings. We in the Western world have been abundantly blessed with prosperity and freedom. Many people may be thankful in their own way, but do the overwhelming majority of United States, Canadian, Australian, and British citizens recognize and acknowledge the true source of their prosperity and blessings and freedoms? Do they truly thank the Creator God and Jesus Christ for their benefits? Will the sin of ingratitude lead to national decay and destruction? Stay tuned. The average North American consumes five times more than a Mexican, ten times more than a Chinese person, and 30 times more than a person from India. We are the most voracious consumers in the world. A world that could die because of the way we North Americans live. Give it a rest. November 23 is Buy Nothing Day. Hello folks, it's November 23rd, 2007. In the United States, this day is known as Black Friday, the first shopping day of the uh, busy retail Christmas season and it's celebrated one day after Thanksgiving. I'm proposing that from this day forward rational people not refer to this as Black Friday but rather Reason's Harvest. And so today I'm spending a little bit of time celebrating Reason's Harvest as an international holy day. Holy not in any mystical sense uh, but holy in the sense of solemnity, importance and uh, well just general uh, importance to civility. You know a lot of work has gone into uh, this day. People all year round have been designing products, uh, working hard to meet deadlines to make sure that they were produced, brought to stores, uh, that inventions were patented, that uh, books that were uh, bound to be popular were copyrighted, printed, and that everything was brought to market uh, not only on time but at a price that people would choose to buy them. So this is really the day for every productive person not only to sell what they've produced all year but to take some of what they've uh, earned all year and just to reward themselves because they have earned it. They have earned their own happiness. Their production is their only means of, of living. They're trading what they've produced for other things that they like even better. And uh, this is a great day to remember that what made it all possible was their own rational choice to put their own life, their own survival, their own happiness first. So this is really the first day of the harvest of all of the rational conduct that's gone on all year up to this point in anticipation that a lot of people would want to do a lot of trading today. And why are they doing all of that trading? For their own personal happiness. Whether they're buying things for themselves or buying things for those people that they love, uh, they're doing it for their own happiness. They're putting themselves first, their own happiness first. And they are getting happiness in many cases because they're, they're giving things to people that they value. It's not a sacrifice for them at all they're buying things because they're getting something even greater in return. So without further ado, let's celebrate the way people should always celebrate Reason's Harvest and that is by trading for some happiness. So I'm going to start off Reason's Harvest Day with a great meal that I'm going to make at home with all of the store-bought goodies uh, that make a breakfast a great thing on Reason's Harvest Day. And I'll just show you some of those ingredients I picked up at the store. This is some uh, distilled water and uh, with, the with the distilled water I can make sure that the, uh, the water I drink isn't full of things that will harm me because it's not you know, drawn out of the ground, it's actually purified and processed by several procedures that are designed to ensure that only the, you know, the water that has first been turned into vapor and then cooled turns into this nice crystal clear water that can't be found in nature. <clears throat> I'm going to use my uh, Betty Crocker uh, electric powered uh, kettle to boil up some water. And I'm going to use my Starbucks barista coffee grinder to, to grind some coffee and um, nice freshly packed coffee. Coffee that I, you know, got from a nice source. Hand picked by people paid exactly what their labor was worth. 
I'm going to have some eggs designed <laughs> so that omega-3 is right in there, good for my body. Science, science, the human mind has told me that. And I'm going to mix in, with my eggs, I'm going to mix in some Asiago cheese that I think was made in Italy and then transported over to North America, but even if it wasn't, it's wonderful. I'm going to have some oregano that I'm not sure where it was growing, but it was then harvest, uh, harvested and put in one of these plastic containers after being dried. Someone thought it through and decided that this was a good way to package it so it would last a good long time and I'd be able to enjoy it at will. I'm going to put in some pepper. Uh, this is a built-in grinder. I, I can actually grind and then throw the whole thing away. Uh, I bought this because I needed it. I didn't have a grinder ha uh, handy. I was out in the boonies and I didn't have any pepper and I decided, hey, um, is there a solution here that will give me fresh pepper? It's not pre-ground. Fresh pepper grains. You, know, you can see the greens that are right in there. But that will allow me to crush them on my meal. So it will make really nice pepper. And, you know, the human mind came up with this disposable pepper storage device combined with a grinder. I can turn that and the, the, bean, or the, uh, the uh, pepper gets ground and the powder comes out nice and fresh. And all of these ingredients were purchased in just minutes of my time using just a few dollars uh, that I had earned uh, by you know, applying my mind to various problems that are faced with by my customers. And they traded money in exchange for that advice that I gave them. So, everyone wins and uh, I'm going to have a wonderful breakfast to kick off my day. Okay, we're going to put the beans into this nuclear powered device. Because mostly electricity in Ontario comes from production of electricity using nuclear power. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but that is some nice freshly ground coffee. And I'm going to put that right over here in my Bodum. Bodum, it's called. I think that's just the brand name, or it could be the device. It's basically a coffee press. And now I'll just click a button and do what my ancestors did with hours of wood collection and rubbing sticks together. Uh, I'll do in about three minutes here with the assistance of the human mind, electricity, copper mines, and etc. All the product of human invention. Okay, turn the temperature on about six. No need to collect wood. No need to chop down trees. Oh, look at that. Wonderful cow's milk. Processed. Made into a cube. Packaged. Sent to a store where I, for a few dollars, purchased it. Brought it home in minutes. And now it's going to be part of my breakfast. sit there for a minute. Okay, nice omega-3 eggs. Oh yeah. Add a bit of salt, some ground pepper, That works really well. And then some Clubhouse brand oregano. And we got the makings of some really nice scrambled eggs. Okay, I'm going to add some butter here that's got some, uh, look here, it's got actual amounts written right on the side. Some ingenious person came up with that, saves everybody a lot of time and bother. You can just cut the amount you want, so I've got the amount I want here, I'm going to plop that right into the old. Okay, frying pan, show me the magic. I'm using one of those 
T-file pans, non-stick. They're really, really good. Makes cleaning them a matter of just wiping it out. Really, just uh, it's incredible. Plus, I don't think it hard on eggs. If you put eggs in something like an iron pan, uh, you're going to have a hard time not burning them, but you can really keep them moving here without them sticking to the pan. And uh, that, you can see, I'm not getting much in the way of burning at all. All courtesy of people who paid attention to the laws of nature, applied their mind, and came up with a great way of making eggs not stick to a pan. So that Paul McKeever can have a wonderfully unburned breakfast, followed by a really easy session getting it clean. But of course, I'll be using a powered dishwasher, so it's not really going to be too much of a bother for me. Okay, here we go. Not a burn anywhere to be found. Oh, mama. So I went down to Walmart and I picked up a couple of things at bargain basement prices. They were real deals and they're going to be uh, helpful and fun for me today as I celebrate Reason's Harvest. One thing I bought was the black t-shirt. 100% cotton. And you'll see I paid very little for it. $7.46. Great bargain. Okay. And the other thing I bought was uh, a dark t-shirt transfer kit and this will allow me to design something and put it on a on a t-shirt so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now okay so I've got my design here I've uh, put it on the screen and now we're going to move it over to the printer And there we have it. The, uh, for just a few dollars, we've got a decal now that I can put on a, uh, a t-shirt and uh, help celebrate Reason's Harvest. Parchment. And voila! One Reason's Harvest t-shirt. Reality, Reason, Self, Consent. Reason's Harvest, November 23rd, 2007. Now part of my celebration of Reason's Harvest was to purchase digital cable, including high definition channels. And uh, this here is what makes it all possible. It's some high definition technology. I can record high definition channels. In fact, I can record two at once if I need to. I can watch one while I'm recording one and record another at the, whole, at the same time. Now, thanks to me and thanks to the brilliant application of Reason that brought me the technology, that brought me the availability of the technology, that brought me the signal, the hardware, uh, this TV behind me, I'm going to be able to uh, reap the reward of my own productive efforts by sitting back and enjoying some wonderful fiction. Who do I thank? Me. Captain, you mind if I say grace? Only to say it out loud. And of course, if I'm going to go and uh, enjoy all this wealth that human ingenuity has allowed me to purchase in exchange for my own effort, I have to go and make some effort. I have to go and sell my services. So I'm off to work right now. Reason's Harvest is not a day off. It's not a statutory holiday. It's not a day when you ask your, your uh, employer, if you have an employer, to uh, pay you to uh, do nothing, to stay home. No, Reason's Harvest is a day when you go to work, uh, if you work for an employer, perhaps you work some overtime. If you're self-employed, you work as hard as you can to earn as much as you possibly can that day. So that, that same day, after you're done your labors, or before you start them, you can uh, go out and uh, spend the money you've earned and uh, improve the quality of your life, have a happier life. Well, it's been a long uh, day of work today, as well as uh, pleasure. Uh, it's now the end of the work day, though, and I'm going to go out and spend some of what I've earned on myself and on those I love so that we can all be happier. Uh, I'm going to start right here in the office, though, getting online. I'm going to go to audible.com and buy myself 
uh, the audiobook version of uh, not Atlas Shrugged, which I already bought, but The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Uh, these books are great for uh, traveling to and from work. Now, I haven't shown you the actual purchase, but uh, if you look really close, you'll see I've purchased uh, Ayn Rand's The Fountainhead Unabridged. Now, I just got a phone call from Mrs. McKeever, and uh, she said I've got some things to buy here. We've got some uh, prosciutto, some gouda, some basil, and some broccoli. So it looks like I'm going to be eating well tonight. Now, as luck has it, my law office is located right across the street from the local shopping mecca, the Oshawa Shopping Centre. And right across there is the main entrance, and as you can see, that beacon of capitalism, the golden arches. I'm here to the grocery store to pick up the order that Mrs. McKeever made. And if you look really close, though, you'll see something else that just, oh, just happens to be here. Holy smokes, tobacconist. And I think I'm going to enjoy a nice hand-rolled cigar tonight. And so I'm going to be making a little visit into the holy smokes. Now, I went in and got the prosciutto and all that that uh, Mrs. McKeever had asked me to get. But while I was in there, I went into Holy Smokes and treated myself to one of these. Now, I'm not sure if you can really see the brand name on it or anyway, uh, in any way, but it says uh, A Fuente Gran Reserva, a nice $20 smoke to uh, celebrate prosperity, hard work, uh, diligence, and honesty. Two, two, two shops in one. I'm going to go to the chapters here, and right next door, I'm going to grab myself a nice Starbucks coffee. These are some of my finest purchases here at the uh, CD Plus, and I think I'm going to pick that one right there. Hey, tell me what, tell me what the total is there, pal. Thirty-six forty-five. There you go. Now here are some of my friends at my favorite sushi place. Oh yeah. Look at that Christmas. wonderful food and the prices Thank are great. You. Thank you. Maybe there you my go. Face is red right now. <laughs> Happy shopping day. Oh, yeah. What do I I'm calling it Reasons Harvest today. Oh, okay. And I'm telling everybody, go thank yourself. So in other words, go out and buy yourself something good and be happy. Yeah. Like some sushi, for example. Right. <laughs> Okay, Thank you, have a good day. Okay. And here I am at McDonald's about to have a Big Mac from one of the world's largest uh, and richest uh, providers of fast food. And here's a small and tasty and inexpensive reward. Mm. Wonderful. Hey guys. Hey, welcome to HMB. Hello. It's my new toy, and I'm here to purchase some tanning hours. Okay. Hey, you. How's it going? Not too bad. I got my video camera here. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks a lot for embarrassing me. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm Thank celebrating you. a very special day of the year. Everyone knows it as uh, Reasons Harvest. And on, okay. yes, it's the day when we celebrate being wealthy and making a lot of money. Excellent. Yeah. And very so good. we go out and we buy things for ourselves. Sweet. To make ourselves happy. Yes. 
And so... You can't buy happiness, you know. Oh yes, you can. No, you can't. In fact, you can't, you can't have happiness without buying it. Or trading for it, at least. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to buy your biggest tan package. Let's see what you got over here. Let's see, you've got 500, 500 minutes. minutes for 140. You got a deal for me? That is your deal. That is my deal? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know... Well, let's see what we have here first. Okay. Now, you know, on uh, Reason's Harvest, mm -hmm. we have a saying. Everybody has a saying. It's supposed to say. And it's, go thank yourself. You say it loud and proud. Oh, go thank so you, yourself. Go thank yourself. Go thank yourself. <laughs> Okay. So what are we gonna do? You gonna sell me 143 minutes? Or no? Sell you 500 minutes. 500 minutes for 143 dollars. Yes. I would gladly pay for that, and it's going to make my skin healthy and glowing. And glowing, and yes. it will be just great for vitamin D, right? Excellent for vitamin D. Yes. And look at all these products you've got up here that people can buy. And these aren't cheap products. These and are just great products, we're right? We're getting lots of new ones within the next week or two as well. Is that right? Yeah. Right on. Well, let's get me in there. And I have your favorite bed available. Which is? Number eight. <laughs> for 19 minutes. <laughs> so this is called, what's it called? Reasons Harvest. Reasons Harvest. Right. And I've just got a recruit for next year. Um, November 23rd, I'll be there. That's right. Spending my money. Or whatever the day is after the American Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah, right on. And we're going to make as much as we possibly can that day. Yeah. And we're going to buy as much as we possibly can. Okay. All right. Can I spend more than I make? Yes, but you've okay. got to you've got to en enlist at least five friends for next year. Okay, done. Done. I already have friends. <laughs> Maybe even ten. <laughs> Here I am at the dinner booth. But I don't think I'm going to be showing you this part. That was a wonderfully relaxing. Wonderfully, wonderfully relaxing uh, 19 minutes. And then I feel awake, revived, revitalized for the day, for the rest of the day, rest of the evening. But I'm also quite warm, so I'm going to go and get myself a nice, cold, refrigerated bottle of sparkling water from my local variety store, which makes it all really convenient. Well, here it is, my refreshment. A nice bottle of refrigerated Perrier water, bottled water, disposable bottle, convenience, ingenuity created by the human mind allowed me to have this nice pre-frozen or pre-cold bottle of water uh, at a moment's notice for the grand total of $1.39. Just when I needed, right when I needed it. Amazing. Now it turns out Mrs. McKeever has been very busy working all day long, making lots of money, and she's very tired and she'd prefer not to make any meal, and I prefer not to make any meal, so I'm going to make some, well, exchange some of my money for some wonderful pizza. Yeah, I'd like to order a trio pomodoro large. Thick crust. Now it's going to be about a 20 minute wait, so I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my recently purchased The Fountainhead on the iPod. Another wonderful adventure.